Hello and welcome to Big Dash Knows. Big Dash Knows what? New York Giants football. Let's go. It's that time of year, people. It is that time of year mock draft time. And with all these different simulators out there, um, the precision in some of these simulators, obviously the combine is coming up. So um, a lot of the rankings probably will be updated pretty soon. But whether it's PFF, PFN, we're still waiting on uh, Draft Network simulated uh, to be released. But um, let's just get right into this, man. So what I'm going to do is a seven round mock draft for the New York Giants. Of course, what other team would I actually do that for? So a seven round mock draft for the New York Giants. And without further ado, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this. And again, this is going to be the PFF simulator. And let's go ahead and start this draft and see what we can do. OK. All right. So pick number one for the New York Giants, you know, pick 25. I mean, and I'm just looking at some of the options here. OK, we have the tackle from Georgia, Roderick Jones, Joey Porter, Osiris Torrance. Hannah McKee, Trenton Simpson. So I'm already tap dancing in my head right now. I'm already tap dancing because I see two positions here. Guess those two. First one's going to be an interior linebacker, and you see him from Clemson, Trenton, Trenton Simpson. And then we have Joey Porter. Cornerback is a position of need, absolutely. Trenton Simpson. So I'm tap dancing in my head right now. I'm absolutely tap dancing in my head. Trenton Simpson is, is available right now. For me, that's a no-brainer. The biggest spot I think we need as far as help on defense is going to be the interior linebacker. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm drafting Trenton Simpson, linebacker from Clemson. Let's see what happens next. I always like to see who uh, Philly picks too because they always draft pretty well. well. Obviously, this is a mock, so it's not like those guys. Okay, uh, second round pick. Uh, number 57 overall. Ooh, Darnell Washington, tight end. Now, they do have tight end listed as a need for the New York Giants. But, you know, it is what it is. I'd like Daniel Bellinger, so maybe we can push that tight end spot a little bit further in the draft. Okay, I do like Parker Washington. Wide receiver is a need. Let's see what else we have here. Garrett Williams is a good pick at, good pick at cornerback as well. Um, Jalen Hyatt, Diane Hinton. Dion Henley. Now Henley is another good sideline to sideline linebacker. But since we already picked up Simpson, I'm gonna be looking for a cornerback or a wide receiver with this second round pick. This is just my opinion. Cornerback or wide receiver. So I do like Parker Washington. I do like Garrett Williams. Corner is hard thing. I like Garrett. I'm gonna go with Garrett Williams. I like I like what he can do. We do need a CB2 next to Dory Jackson and Garrett Williams is a guy. Um, that can make a lot of plays. Good ball skills, physical as well. I like that. Okay, so now we're at round three, pick 89. If you look over here on the side, Noah Sewell had just got off the board. Dallas is right behind us. Let's see. So we have a safety here. Uh, Jalen Moreno uh, Cropper. To be honest, I really don't know much about that kid. Her, uh, Hendon Hooker. It's another guy. Bry Byron Young, Edge. Now, Byron Young, he is an edge, good, speedy guy, a little light. I think he's like 250 pounds. Um, but definitely a guy you should look at. Uh, center, ooh, Luke Whippler, or Wipler. Not sure how exactly how you pronounce that, but yeah, number 63 from Ohio State. Okay, quality guy there. <sighs> Jalen Jones, ooh, do I double up? Do I double up at cornerback right now? Now, Jalen Jones is a physical corner as well. I believe he's like 6'2", 200 pounds. Can he give you some safety snaps as well? Ooh, I like the value. I like the value here. I know he's number 97, and we're picking at 89. But, ooh, do I go with the center or do I double up at, on, on cornerbacks? Mm. I know some other centers that should be available. I like, I like Jalen a lot. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go. I'm going to double up with cornerbacks here. Let me just go back a little bit further. Ooh, Phillips is also here. Let's see if I'm not 
If I don't jump the gun, Wake Forest. Ooh. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and double up. I'm gonna go ahead and draft Jalen as well. So Jalen Jones is gonna be the pick at 89. So let's see what's going on. So now we're gonna go into the fourth round. Pick 128. Like I said, I don't like to go too crazy in these mock drafts because obviously it's just a mock. Oof, I think I did the right thing. So look who falls into our laps at 128. Jonathan Mango. And you know what? I'll, I'll take a couple. I'll look at a couple different guys in here. Ooh, nice center. Okay, two centers. But right now, we need, we need that help at wide receiver. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Jonathan Mingo. I like what he brings to the table. Um, great size, um, good ball skills, got got good enough speed to break away. Reminds me of A.J. Brown a little bit, you know, just as far as the mold. I'm going to go ahead and draft Jonathan Mingo here. Okay, let's see. All right, so now getting into the fifth round, pick 162 for us. So if we address the wide receiver, linebacker, we got two cornerbacks already. So now we're in round five, you know, am I looking for a tight end here? Possibly a running back, possibly some offensive line help. Let's see. Okay. Oof. Okay. So, man, Giants do need wide receivers. And this guy here, Dontavian Wicks, would be a nice pickup here in the fifth round. Now, we've doubled up on cornerback. This might be a possible double up on a wide receiver. Let me see if I can find a lineman, though, in here, or a defensive tackle as well. It gives you more value. Do we kick Bredesen in that center and we and we and just roll with that? You know what? It's the first mock. Let me go ahead and go with Dontavian Wick. So we doubled up on cornerback, and now we're going to double up on a wide receiver. So let's go. Now we get into the nitty gritty. Six rounds, only two rounds. We got four picks left. Best player available. Hopefully some of these guys is either a running back or you know maybe a defensive tackle or maybe some tight end. Okay. I'm looking for running backs right now in this spot. Nice sweet spot for running backs. I was looking to see if Muhammad Ibrahim is still on here or either Tavion uh, from Utah still on here oh there's Tavion 237 now I do like that Tavion pick here we have pick 218 also pick 242 can will, will Tavion get picked between 218 and 242 that's a good question let me look again to see who's here anybody that I like more than Tavion Thomas Oh no, let's go down a little bit more. Let's see, Tavion. Did Muhammad Ibrahim go already? I think he did. I like Muhammad Ibrahim a lot. Okay, so yeah, and I saw another tight end prospect too there. So we're gonna go with Tavion Thomas right here. Tavion Thomas at 218. I saw Strange to tight end from Pitts uh, from Penn State here. Is he gonna be here for me to snatch? Is he going is is he going to be here? Let's see. I don't think so. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Right here. This is great value here. Brenton Strange from Penn State. Tight end. Position of need as well to, um, you know, team up with Bellinger. I'm going to go with Brenton Strange here. Two more picks left. Two more picks. Let's see what happens. Okay. Pick 245. You got a fullback, a wide receiver, best player available. Also, you want to be in a position of need, possibly in these late rounds. I'm seeing some tackles here. Safety, safety, cornerbacks, nose tackle. Okay, let's see. Nothing, nothing really jumps out. Again, we're still early in this in this mock draft process. Early in this, in this, not even really off season yet, because we still got games before the Super Bowl, but. When you're sitting outside, this is what you're doing when your team is on the couch. Okay, so just looking at best player available. We could use a safety. 
I'm seeing I'm seeing some cornerbacks in secondary here. I know we already drafted two cornerbacks, and one of those guys can actually get some snaps at safety. But let's go ahead with a true safety. Let's go with Daniel Scott out of um, uh, California. All right. And then for the last pick, let's see who Mr. Irrelevant is for us this year. Or in this mock, I should say. You know what? You can't go wrong with a late round offensive lineman. I'm kind of upset that I didn't find a defensive tackle. But let's go back here. I want to see some value. Taron Vincent, that's an interior defensive lineman. You know, Dexter sometimes need to spell. Davidson injured his knee. You know, the rookie that we drafted. Let's go ahead with Taron Vincent and let's see how we do. Let's see what the grades are. Okay. Let's see how we did here. First mock draft for YouTube. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I put out uh, a, a few dra uh, mock drafts already. And okay, I, I'm already seeing some things here that, that I don't like. Okay, Trent Tom, Tr Trenton Simpson. I keep calling him. I want to say Thompson all the time. Trenton Simpson. I got a B-plus grade on that pick. That's okay. Garrett Williams got a C-plus. You know, that's not where you want to be. But Jalen Jones also got a C. So my first three rounds are looking a little shaky as far as these grades go. But I, I guarantee once these guys hit the combine, Garrett Williams and Jalen Jones, they should test pretty well. I'm liking what I'm seeing next. So back-to-back -back A-minuses in the fourth and the fifth round. Both of those guys happen to be wide receivers. Jonathan Mingo, Dontavian Wicks. Both guys, um, good size, good ball skills. Um, great guys to add to this wide receiver room that needs all the help that it can get. So I'm liking, I'm liking the score there in the fourth and fifth round. These guys can possibly contribute to the Giants right away. Tavion Thomas gives me a C-, minus, but I don't care. PFF is broke. Tavion Thomas is one of those guys that you could team up with Saquon Barkley if he comes back, if we sign him. To give him those spells, short yardage monster, Tavian Thomas. Um, forget what you see there with the C minus. Brenton Strange, Titan from Penn State, gave me a B plus. I kind of thought that was some good value, um, you know, in the later round. And then Daniel Scott, safety C plus, and Taron Vincent, defensive, in, uh, you know, interior defensive line C plus as well. So for overall, got a B minus on this mop. Not mad at that at all. Not mad at that at all. You know what, guys? Let me know if you like these mock drafts. Let me know if you want me to keep on doing these. Maybe use a different simulator or not. But, I'm, but you know, I just enjoy doing this. I learn a lot about the players. It helps me to go research certain players that I don't already know about. So these simulators help me out a bunch, a bunch, especially this time of the year where you're getting close to the draft and combine and you want to see what a lot of these players can do. So I want to thank you guys for vibing with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And from one Giants fan to another, this is Big Dash Knows, Big Blue Nation. Let's go.